Hi there, I'm Rachel. Today I'm playing Rachel, the host of The Widow, who might be a cougar. Louie, I do a hug song. Oh, wow, Louie. Rachel came down. I said, OK, sweet. Nice to meet you. I like that. As a cougar hunter, Rachel's definitely doable. I hope you guys don't think that I'm the lady of the hour. Welcome to The Widow. So let me tell you a little something about the woman you heard of me. She's always up for a good matinee or a good crochet. She loves to play bridge. I hope you guys like to eat early because she likes early bird specials. You'll probably also need to, well, drive her. She is kind of afraid to drive at night. OK, gentlemen, well, with no further ado, the widow. Chin, brother. Hello, gentlemen. Today I'm playing Debbie, the sexy widow, looking for a young, hot guy. You guys are so totally cute. So are oh. you, baby. My first impression of Debbie, good looking for her age group. She probably wrote the handbook on cougars. Muscles for days. Uh, beautiful. You are? Brady. Not that it matters. Yeah. God, you're beautiful. God, Brady. What's your name? Oh, my What's God. your game? Jared. <laughs> Jared, I love musicians. Oh, I'm a musician, baby. Jared, he's gonna go real quick. He's too cocky. What's Don't that over there? Watch it now. I'm not afraid of either one of them. You are? The Italian Stallion, baby. Oh, the Italian yeah. Stallion. Give me a little 360. There you go, uh -huh. Louie. Keep going, that's it. All right, Louie. Yeah. Louie. What are you gonna bring to the table? Uh, a lot more than these chops here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I like it. You guys look great with your clothes on, but I need to see what's underneath. Time to take the shirts off, drop the drawers, drip. Debbie wanted us to take her clothes off. I don't know why. Come on. I kind of feel like a stripper, but I'll handle it. All right, guys. Come on, Louie. Unbutton. <gasps> oh, my god. An angel. When Debbie called me an angel, little did she know I'm a devil in disguise, and she has no idea what's coming. You got a tattoo there? Actually, my mom and I have matching ones. Your mom? Brady, he needs to stop talking about his mom. It's more important things in life, like winning the cougar. Well, guys, we have another surprise. JD, put some disco in those balls. You look so wonderly today. Today I'm playing JD, the widow's androgynous manservant. Everyone put on a bow tie. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, bro. This is going to be very hard for you to decide. I think they're all very handsome. Turn around, guys. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm squeezing my butt cheeks for you, Deborah. Oh. Maybe I'll get to squeeze them later. Yeah, anything you want, baby. You guys all look amazing. And now that you got your clothes off, Come out and meet me by the pool. My plan is to win over Debbie with my charm. Bye bye, sweetheart. See you, baby. Debbie's butt is like a pizza. I want to get up in there and knead that ass. It's time for Louie and our fake daters to get wet and wild as they compete in the pool boy challenge. Hey, gentlemen, we're going to bring out JD. He's going to help you guys oil yourself up for the first challenge. Thank you, love. JD seems to be an assistant here at the house. Once I win Debbie, then he can be my assistant, too. Get shiny and greasy. Louie, you know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, lay it on. Just hit me. Mm-hmm. This pool boy challenge involves skimming the pool. And she's going to want you to look good. She's going to watch your form and, of course, how well you clean the pool. And the winner gets immunity in the next challenge. Uh-oh, Jarrett, what are you doing, Doing Louie? it for you. I'm just cleaning. Watch out, Louie. He's out to get you. It's OK, sweetheart. I'm out to get you. Oh, Whoa. I like that. Deb, check this out. Oh. My god, look oh, at Jarrett. No. One arm push-ups, cleaning the leaves. Jarrett is too much confidence. This is my bad hand I'm doing this with. Hey, babe, this whole side's finished. Don't try so hard. They're, they're overdoing themselves. Sabby. What, honey? You like that? Ye Oh, my God, he's got the dental floss. You got great legs, Louie. Thank you, sweetheart. Debbie was definitely digging me, for sure. She likes me. OK, Debbie, who is the best pool boy? I got to say, I'm going to give it to. Louie, Louie Lewis! Louie! I knew I was going to win, and I clinched the win when I showed her my buttocks. She really liked it. I think it turned her on. Debbie's going to deliver the immunity, which means you cannot get disqualified in the next round. JD? <laughs> oh, wow. He knows the technique. I don't even have to tell him. OK, darling. Louie, I want to thank you so much for really diving in there. And I, I'm going to honor you for that. 
You like red? Absolutely. <laughs> Hope it's not too high up for you. Oh my God, teeth. Woo. Thank you. You really want that immunity, don't you? Definitely. When I saw the garter, I knew exactly what to do. Put my head right up her skirt and grab it. Gentlemen, Debbie has a pretty active imagination, but she has an even bigger sexual appetite. And you put those things together, you're gonna get role playing. There's gonna be three unique outfits inside for each one of you. And you're gonna put those outfits on and become the character. Coming up, at the first elimination, one of our actors puts Louie on the spot. He said you were old! I didn't say you were old! I never said that. And later, Louie's steamy jacuzzi gets an unexpected guest. Ooh, wow. Hey, Ma. What did I walk in on? Louie thinks he's on a dating show where one lucky winner gets to hook up with a cougar. Hi. A grand cougar. But what he doesn't know is that everyone on this phony show is an actor, and they're going to throw a few wrinkles his way. The next competition is going to be role-playing. All right, gentlemen, there's going to be three unique outfits inside for each one of you. Let's go change. While the guys get suited up for their next competition, Louie and our phony contestant compare stats. Bet you 20 bucks I get along before both of you. <sighs> Bet you 20 bucks I don't care. That Jared guy, he's a little bit of a, a whack job. How many 60 year olds have you been with? Just give me a number, bro, and I'll, I'll stop right now. Jared was asking me all sorts of crazy questions. Talk to me, Robin. Just give me a number. What? How many? It doesn't matter. It matters to me. I don't know why we're having this discussion. I swear to God, I'm going to put this hat through a window. I'm not kidding. How many? I think he needs to go to anger management class. I have so many sick year olds, man. I can't even keep count. I've broken so many hips off of so many old chicks. Okay. He's not normal. Ma'am, I heard there's oh a fire my God. in the building. Oh, there is a fire. If you could put my fire out. Debbie has had the chance to see you in your underwear, but you have not had the chance to see Debbie in her panties. Now, don't get too excited. She's going to stay right there. We have three models who are going to come in right now. Now, as you can see, each of these models are holding a number. One of these numbers is wearing Debbie's panties. The winner of this challenge gets one-on-one -on -one time with Debbie, but the loser gets eliminated. We're gonna go down the line, and you're gonna tell me what model is wearing Debbie's panties. Brady? Bullseye, number two. Okay, Jared? Number one, fire engine red. All right. Louie, what'll it be? Three. Three. I mean, it's a sexy piece. Only Debbie could pull it off. You're not saying it because you like her butt? You know, it's nice, but. You could bounce a quarter off my butt, honey. <laughs> I could it's bounce hard a lot a of rock. things, I'm sure. Good. So, Debbie, who is right? I love black and white number three. Yes! When model number three went by, I definitely knew in that hot little thong that those were Debbie's panties because uh, she's a little tiger. Well, congratulations, Louie. You get one-on-one -on -one time with Debbie. But unfortunately, that means one of the two of you are going to be eliminated. Brady, based on your decision of underwear, you got to go, honey. He said you were old. He said it. Come again? I will yeah. back it up. He said it. He said you were old. Did you say it was old? No, I said you're an older woman. You're very attractive. No, he said you were an older was not in the conversation. He or she is old. And he laughed. I never said that. I he laughed. I came smirked. in right after that. As far as the guys saying I called Debbie old, I didn't say that. I have no idea why they're just ganging up and being haters. When someone says old and doesn't say er, that's when I get a little suspicious. So you were offended when he called me older? Very. Okay, good. Thanks for standing up for me. If, in fact, that happened. It happened. Never happened, And Debbie. I'm offended. I'm not gonna let them knock me down. Whatever happened, let's just let it be. One's gotta go. Brady, those are like jockey shorts for men. I would never wear those underwear. You gotta go, honey. There's a door and call your mother. Go. Can someone please tell me Just get out he of my house. He said you were old. I didn't say you were old. I would never say anything like that. He said oh you were 